Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and hopefully enjoy the video. So let me show you how I created the scene. Okay, so we're in Blender, obviously. First thing I want to do is go Shift A, add a cube. Then what I want to do is scale it up and then go to top view and then go here. Scale it like that and then scale it like this something like that now let's go and bring it up perfect what we can do now is let's go into our top view again click on our camera push g and bring it in perfect now what we want to do is let's go to tab click on this tab Go okay, yeah, here, select the face, click, delete faces. And then we're also going to delete that one. So delete faces. Okay, now let's go in here. Right click, subdivide, and let's subdivide it about, yeah, 50 times. Now let's go here, shift, and then all we're going to do is just something like that, and then take these away, and then delete faces. Okay, now we can go out of edit mode. And now let's go into our camera and then just shift our camera like that. So click on the camera, hold zero, and then G, just something like that. Okay, now what you want to do is click on here, go to modifiers, add, add a solidify, and then just bring it in a bit so we've got a bit of a window maybe even a little bit more perfect now let's bring in the hdri so go to world let's go environment texture plug the color to the color and then click here and click Control T. And then I'm going to just bring in one of mine. But you can bring in anything you want. Let's go with that one. Okay, let's go now and have a look. What I might do is just shift the camera a little bit more. And then let's go bring the millimeter back. Perfect. Now let's have a look. Okay, it looks good. Now what we can do is just play around with the Z. So we find some way that we like. Something like that. Now let's go Control A and add a plane. Let's scale this up. So you can use any kind of grass add-on that you want. I'm going to use this one. And then let's bring the scale up. Now what you want to do is just rotate it so RX 180. Okay, looks good. Let's have a look. Okay, now what you want to do is light this. 
So, let's go out here. Shift A. Bring in a sunlight. Go here. And then let's bring it up. Go to top view. G. Let's just shift it. Here we go R. Okay, R again. Then R. Perfect. Now we go like this. And just go R. It's beautiful. Now let's have a look. Now let's bring it up. So Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, what you want to do is select this G. Let's have a look now. I think this will look better. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now what you can do is just get a light. Just to make this a bit brighter, so we can do let's go here. Yeah. 0.5, maybe a little bit more. Let's go two. Okay. Nice. Looking good. Okay, what we can do is scale this down. Maybe a little bit more up. Go here, select this. A little bit more back. Okay, let's have a look. Let's bring the camera up. Nice, let's have a look. Looks good, looks good. Okay, now what we can do is let's add a, just an object, just to make it look a bit more interesting, so, models, let's see what there is. So in the last one I added a table, but you can literally add Anything else? So let's add this chair and rotate it. Scale it up. Might need to just move it a bit. Add the table. And then let's have a look. So let's close this. Bring it in. Okay, what I might do is just go to Y mode, top view, find the chair. So let's select the chair. Now go to Y mode, top view, and just Perfect. And then something like that. Let's go now. Let's have a look. Perfect. And then what you can do is if you don't have these HDRs from the place that I bought them, you can use this one. So this one from Polyhaven, one of my favorite ones to use. Let me quickly find it. Let 
and you can just rotate it but obviously I prefer the lighter one so this one for me looks better but you can yeah, play around with whatever HDR you want you can even bring in some a bit more yeah like that or same with no clouds which is also fine and then you don't need to really texture this wall if you don't want you can always put a texture on it but it's up to you but yeah that's the scene hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one